Hey there, and welcome back. I'm going to pick up today on part two of my teaching series on transition. Remember, transition simply means to move from point A to point B, or to go from one place to another place. God did not plan to lead Israel out of Egypt and then leave them stranded in the wilderness with no supply. This is very important now for you to get into the spirit of your mind. God is not intending to leave you in that dry and desolate place in your life. His plan is to bring you out into a wide open space filled with abundance. This was God's intentions for Israel. His goal was to bring them out of Egypt's poverty and into Canaan's abundance. He had plans for them to receive an extraordinary inheritance. Matter of fact, say that with me now. God has an extraordinary inheritance for me. He does. He had plans for Israel to move out of the desert into this abundant land. But oftentimes the children of Israel lost focus of their destination due to the immediate circumstances around them. Has that ever happened to you? God makes a promise and then all of a sudden, an unpredictable circumstance comes up. You lose focus of the promise and you concentrate consistently on this circumstance that seems insurmountable. It happens to me on a regular basis, which is why I have to practice the presence of God during transition. Now, most of you would agree that water is a necessity of life, especially in the desert. The risk of dying is quite high without it. The lack of water is one of the unique challenges that fell upon Moses and the sons of Israel as they transitioned from Egypt to Canaan. The water crisis in the desert is found in Exodus 17. You can read that in your time of leisure. The reaction is what I want to pick up on today and then make my point of what you can do in your perceived times of lack during transition is what stands out. The reaction, the sons of Israel, to the perceived lack of supply is this. They quarreled or they got strifeful. How many times in your perceived state of lack have you become strifeful with God, your spouse, your children, boss, co-workers, or in some cases, even your employees? Their perceived point or their perspective at this point in this crisis is extremely negative. They are flat out pessimistic. All the sons of Israel can think about is death. Where's their focus? Their focus is on what they don't have. Where should their focus be? Their focus should be on the promises of God and what they currently do have. It wasn't too long ago that Moses stretched out his staff and split the Red Sea. Manna and quail had been falling from the sky to stuff their bellies. But now all of a sudden, they lose sight of God's miracles at work in their life and focus on the things that they don't have. I want to encourage you today, readjust your focus. Acquire a new perspective. Think about the things that you do have. Dwell upon the promises of God for your life. And as you do that, you will find the Spirit of God moving you gracefully through the changes of your life. Have a great day and you be blessed.